Sitting before me are two Linux phones. On my right, the Neo Freerunner by OpenMoco, the true open source phone. This comes with open source Linux installed, and there's many distributions out there that you can install on it, mostly Debian based. And this phone will allow you, since you're installing true Debian, to install any application that you can install on your desktop. Now, whether they run or not on the hardware, you know, you can install OpenOffice, but how well is it going to run on a phone, right? Uh, especially this phone. I've mentioned in previous videos that the hardware is also open, but it, it lacks power. I mean, you can't even really watch videos on this thing, let alone run uh, big applications. Um, when I bought my Nokia N900, I had previously had the N800, which I love, but it was a little big and it wasn't a phone. Um, but you could do a lot of stuff, like you already had Python installed in GTK, so you could write your own applications, that just like you did on your desktop, you had root access. So it's pretty open, but the repositories have a couple hundred applications in there, but not like uh, in Debian or other distributions where you have a couple thousand applications. So I was really hoping that I could dual boot into uh, Debian. I heard that you could do something like that with the N800, and I was hoping you could do it with the N900. And today I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually not dual boot, but run Debian right inside the default uh, operating system, the MAMO operating system on here. So you have both running at the same time, sort of like a virtual machine, like VirtualBox, but using Chirrut and an application called Easy Debian Chirrut, which allows you to not only run any Debian application, install any Debian application, uh, but actually run a full Debian desktop within a window on the phone. Um, once again, uh, like you can, it comes with OpenOffice. I clicked on OpenOffice the other day. It took three to five minutes for OpenOffice to load, and then uh, didn't run all that great. But what is so great? Why would you want to install all these applications? Because there are tools, especially networking tools, that would be very convenient to have in your pocket, such as Nmap or Netcat or Kismet or Ethercap uh, or Etherape. Uh, these are all great applications that would be great to have something that you could put in your pocket and do packet sniffing or other injections into a network uh, that may not be available in the uh, MAMO operating system, but run great on uh, the Debian operating system. So I'm going to show you quickly uh, how that works. Okay. In previous tutorials, I showed you how to add new repos, uh, new repositories to your application manager. And um, in the developmental ones, in one of the repos we've added, there was a application called Easy Debian Chirrut. Now, when you install that, it adds a few icons here for you. We've got Closed Debian, Debian Chirrut, we got uh, Debian Image Installer, Debian LXD. Uh, installed Epiphany Web Browser, Gnome, uh, Elsa Mixer, Ice Weasel, which is Firefox, OpenOffice, and Synaptic Package Manager. And so basically, first thing I'm going to click on here, well, once you install it, you then have to click on the Debian Image Installer. And what that's going to do, you have to give it time, it's going to download a 1.5 gig Debian image. It's going to download the operating system to an image. Uh, luckily, this phone has 32 gigs built in and has an expandable SD slot. And when you go to install the image, whoops, you get to choose whether you want to install it, where you want to install it to. So you can install it to the internal hard drive or an SD card. And um, so once that's done downloading, you can uh, click on the Debian Chirrut here, and it gives you a command prompt. But you're actually not at the command uh, line for the main operating system, you're actually logged into the uh, Debian image. So anything you do in here will be affecting the Debian operating system. So if you were to accidentally wipe stuff out and basically brick your Debian operating system, it's not going to affect the phone because uh, it's, it's, it's in a jail, it's in a sandbox, if you will. So uh, that's the command line, and you, like I said, you can run any command in your Debian command line. Oops, way too long. Let me unlock the phone. There we go. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to go back into my applications menu here. And 
And next I'm going to show you, I'm going to click on Debian LXDE. And if you're familiar with LXDE, it's the LX desktop. I'm not sure what LX stands for. It's a lightweight desktop. I think it's the default desktop on uh, Nopix or Canopix or however you say it. And there you go, in about 10 seconds, we have a full Debian desktop, cursor, we got menu. The thing about this is, you know, it's not designed for phones, so you can pull out the stylus that came with your phone and click on things like your menu. And you're working in Debian in here. And your other operating system is still running. As you saw when you first booted up, it gave you a message. If you hit control and backspace on the keyboard, you'll see it shrinks it down. You're actually running Debian in a window, in a virtual environment, pretty much, on your desktop. So you can still get phone calls. You can exit at any time. If it locks up, you can just close it. If you trash your Debian operating system, it doesn't hurt your phone. At any point, you can just delete that image and click install Debian image again and it will download that 1.5 gig image for you. So I'm just going to close that. I'm going to go back into my applications menu here. I am going to scroll down and as I said installed other things such as the uh, uh, Epiphany web browser and Ice Weasel and so you can create shortcuts to programs that will run in that Debian environment but if I go back into the Debian true root command line I can type commands such as, I know that LeafPad is installed by default. I can hit tab here on the screen twice. And, oh, if I spelled leaf right, I wrote leap. <laughs> leaf. So there we have LeafPad. And if I hit enter, give it a few seconds, there we go. We have LeafPad, which is a text editor. So any GUI application, any graphical application, you can just type it in at that command line, and it will run as if it's a window inside uh, inside your MAMO operating system. But once again, if you go into files and you go to open files and stuff, you're going to be looking at your um, image hard drive, not the actual hard drive of the of the phone. Which is great because because you don't want to screw up your phone if you can help it. But uh, it still accesses all the hardware, so you can still do networking stuff with it. You know, and there are some applications, like I started up GIMP earlier, and it didn't run all that well. It took a while to load, and the op phone operating system wants to run everything full screen. So you can see even the loading screen here kind of gets stretched out, and uh, it'll take a little bit here for GIMP to start up. But you know, you in GIMP, you've got your three different windows. you get got your main working window, your toolbox window, and your layers window, um, and all of those, are you're only going to be able to look at one at a time, and it's going to stretch it out to fit the full screen, so it looks kind of weird. So, you know, your Debian applications are not designed to run on this phone. So, I mean, they, they'll run, because it's a Linux operating system, but the user interface, so there's your main window there. Here is my layers window. Let me, I need to keep looking at the camera so I know I'm lined up right. And there's your tools window, so if I bring here, you can see all your your tools there kind of, it's a little blurry in the camera there. So, you know, when I say it's not designed for the phone, I'm saying it's not designed for you to be able to touch with your fingers. So all the buttons are real small because it's meant to be used with a regular mouse. But nevertheless, it is there, and you can access it and utilize it, you know? So I just closed GIMP, and, oh, there was a message there. What did that message say? Whatever, it closed it. So you can run any... Debian application, as long as the hardware permits it, on here, which is great for, like I said, especially networking stuff. Uh, you can do some Wi-Fi hacking wherever you are from your pocket. Hope you enjoyed this, vis this video. Visit filmsbychris.com for more open source tools, tips, and videos.